What's up guys, this is Aradik here and today I'll be showing you the 5.1.1 Cyanogen mod nightly on the Galaxy Grand. So there you can see it's the 5.1.1 CM12.1. So it's on my Galaxy Grand and it's running actually pretty good, no complaints whatsoever until now. Um, so uh, what you need to do is just uh, download the files in the links in the description below so I'll just show you what those files are actually so there you can see it's the first one it's the CM12.1 201501 official zip file and the second is the G apps lollipop LPR LPMR1 so once the, uh, these two files are done downloading uh, you will need to do is boot into your recovery so uh, if you don't have uh, any custom recovery installed just uh, I'll give a link in the description for to install the TWRP recovery or maybe um, fills recovery or CWM so just boot into the recovery so I'm having here is the TWRP recovery so Basically what you need to do is, uh, I'll just zoom in a bit. So here what you need to do is first go into the backup option and backup everything, every, literally everything so just to be on the safer side. And the second thing you need to do is go and wipe, go into advanced wipe and then you can see these are the options over here. So what you need to select is Dalvik cache, cache system data that's it just just uh, wipe to uh, reset the the image and then uh, what you need to do is go and install uh, and find the downloads option and then hit on the cm12.1 unofficial and just swipe to flash and then uh, do uh, flash the gfs as well do it simultaneously just to be on a safer side you can add both zips uh, at one time as well but to be on a safer side do it um, once each so once that's done just reboot into system so i'll give a link in the description to install the twrp recovery bits because it's uh, kind of like uh, advanced recovery so note that this um, 5.1.1 won't work like the Nexus 5 or the OnePlus One as smooth as them but uh, it's pretty smooth so you can see here is the Cyanogen mod um, boot logo so first boot will take a little time so that's normal but yeah but just remember that just don't turn off and turn on again and again this will cause uh, you into a boot loop so just wait until it's done so first boot will take a bit of time not much but yeah so we are into the CM 12.1 and yeah we are in so I'll just uh, quickly show you what what we get inside the CM 12.1 there's a bit of a lag uh, just just a bit not that much uh, but yeah you can use this as a daily driver I used this only uh, one day and yeah it was quite good but I didn't feel that it should be used by a user who uses a oneplus one or a nexus 5 because the cyanogen mod in this lags a bit and also this i have got this new update but it's not updating so just keep that in mind so if i go into about phone cyanogen mod updates and you can see here uh i've got downloaded the new update it's the 12.1 but uh for some reason i don't know why it's uh, not you know updating from the TWRP recovery so I'll be updating manually that um, so yeah so this is the 5.1 what you get here in a, this is um, audio FX it's inbuilt so that's actually good then you get the browser it's the default Cyanogen mod browser and these all things so to root this uh, just download the super SC in the description below and just go into the TWRP recovery and flash it so then I root it uh, so I'll give a link in the description for the super SU file as well this is the super SU update um, 2.4.6 maybe yeah it's the 2.4 2.46 zip so just do that and you're good to go so yeah uh, it's uh, that's about it thank you for watching this is the CM12.1 you get all the customization over here
the battery life is okay I would say it's not that good but uh, as you can see in the 5.1.1 what you got here uh, what you get here is the drop down so if I just tap here you'll get the all listed Wi-Fi if you tap, if I tap here you'll get all listed Bluetooth connections so that's actually good that's the feature of um, Android 5.1 and you get uh, it over here so yeah and if you want to know anything up more about this 5.1.1 on your Galaxy Grand just leave them in the comment section below you get the theme store here as well so yeah everything works fine um, uh, there are little bit, little bit of bugs in buttons you won't get the on screen buttons these are just the off screen buttons um, battery life is good um, and yeah that's about it thank you for watching and if you have any questions regarding this rom just uh, leave them in the comment section below and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one.